Hey Virgo, thank you so much for coming to your uh, bi-weekly love reading. This is for March 15th through March 31st. Um, it should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We're gonna go over the overall energy, uh, which is clear, which is with a moon message, okay? Kind of mixed together. We're gonna go over your situation, what's causing the situation, um, your hopes and fears with the situation, and then also an outcome. Um, the outcome will be available on Vimeo. And um, there we're gonna also look at how does your uh, partner feel about you? What are their hopes and fears? Um, what are they hiding? What are their next actions, advice, and then ultimately circling back to your um, outcome card, okay? So if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you wanna receive alerts for when I post. Also too, if you'd like a little bit more clarity on a situation, please feel free to book a personal reading with me. And uh, the, link will, the link for my website will be in the description below, okay? So Virgo, let's go ahead and get into your reading, okay? Let's, what's the overall message, 15th through the 31st for Virgo with love? Okay. Have faith in your dreams. Okay, waxing crescent moon. That's beautiful. I don't think that I've seen this one yet. So that's pretty dope. All right. What is the current situation for Virgo when it comes to uh, love and romance? Okay, nine of wands. You know, it's it's interesting. I just want to say this really quick. A lot of the signs are getting this nine of wands energy. And I don't know if it's because of this full moon in Libra that's coming on the 20th, but there's a lot that needs to be released here. Okay, what's causing this situation for Virgo? Ace of wands. You guys have a new offer coming in. Sagittarius energy. Um, what are your hopes and fears? What is the Virgo's hopes and fears romantically? Okay, oh Virgo. Okay, possibly an Aries, or it's going down on an Aries full moon. All right. And where the hell are these at? All right. What's the overall uh, overall outcome for Virgo? 15th through 31st with love. Okay, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, your experience. You experience more love in your present moments. That's beautiful. All right, okay. So Virgo, this is your current past. Maybe you guys are dealing with a Scorpio or possibly um, a Cancer, but ironically enough, you guys have a lot of, um, of fire energy, which I think is, I think it's kind of cool. Um, but I do want to say here, I feel like there's an ending to being left out. I feel like there's an ending to whatever type of emotional pull you guys are going through or whatever type of like sad emotions that are going through you right now. Mm. Possibly caused from overthinking, possibly caused from, you know, you thinking about certain situations and it not happening the way that it, it should in your mind. So, but there is definitely an ending here. Okay, which I do think is very beautiful, especially because with this ending, clearly what's causing this is this Ace of Wands, all right? So I guess I'll leave these here for you guys to, uh, to look at. Now, having faith or have faith with your dreams, in your dreams, I should say, waxing crescent move. You know, this is all about not giving up. You know, whatever situation is going on when it comes to love, it's still in the process of taking shape, right? Um, you're nowhere near the end of your guys' love story, okay? I think that that's super, super important. And um, also, too, everything is going to be okay in the end. Even if it's not okay right now, things are always going to pan out to be exactly what it's supposed to be, okay? This card is definitely here to remind you to keep working towards whatever it is that you want. Um, it's not about taking practical steps, right? Overthinking things. Um, you know, it's really about meditating on what you want romantically and, you know, asking and allowing your higher self to download information on what's your next best step. Okay. Um, overall, you know, this card is definitely a hopeful card. 
it's very positive, you know, it has a very positive outcome with whatever, you know, you're asking here with, with your love life. And it's asking you also to have faith. It's also, you know, telling you that you need to stay focused on exactly what you want. And just because you can't see right now, like your dreams happening right now, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not manifesting in the background. It's all about that perfect timing, right? That divine timing. Um, also too, you know, you're not supposed to look back at other relationships or move backwards. You're supposed to stay focused on moving forwards. You know, being patient as things kind of unfold as they may. And, you know, maybe it's, it's also asking you guys to dig a little bit deeper and find a little bit more courage in whatever, you know, is going on, okay? If you are upset here, it's telling you, hey, stop being upset. Things are working its way out, right? If you want something, ask the universe for it. You know, hey, I really want this. Like, I really want somebody in my life who's going to treat me like A, B, C, D, and E, right? It's all about expressing that and then meditating on it and really, really putting a lot of positive energy into this, okay? Rant done, hopefully. All right, so then you guys have the nine of wands. Why is this here for their situation? With the magician, okay? There you are, Virgo, Virgo or Gemini or Aries. Um, what are they manifesting? Woo, that just shot out. Six of Pentacles in the Hierophant. Okay, you're, you're in a process right now where, you know, you're probably tired because there's a lot of things that have happened or a lot of things that, you know, um, have culminated that it's reached its peak. And what this is telling you is that you have such an amazing ability right now to manifest whatever you want. This is very much a give take situation and it's something that's calling, you know, for it to be right. So possibly Taurus energy, definitely Taurus energy here. Um, but it's like with the magician and your situation, you're coming out of this energy. Whatever you've put into it, you are receiving because you've asked for it and because you've manifested it. And it's the right situation for you to be in because you've done the right things. Okay. I definitely get that strongly. Can you give me um, the Ace of Wands? Why is this the cause? Okay, one more time. Why is this? The, what, why is the Ace of Wands the cause of the situation for Virgo? Whoa, the Eight of Cups. Okay, it could be that you're walking away from something and coming towards something new. What are they leaving behind? Okay, uh, Queen of Wands in reverse. So. Maybe this is this is a type of energy that was a little bit manipulative. Maybe you are being manipulated by somebody else, right? Possibly Leo, Sag, or Aries. This person was overly controlling. Or this is you having some type of control issue. Um, but I feel like you're moving away from that. And this person was negative. Like, like I don't know. They were just overly aggressive. They were not very nurturing. Um, that's the type of energy that's coming from this. What, what's, what is Eight of Cups moving towards for Virgo? Justice, okay? Possibly a Libra. Um, but you're moving towards something that's very balanced. It's, it's not unbalanced like this Queen of Wands where she's, you know, hot and cold constantly. Like she's pissed or she's overly angry and then maybe there's a little bit of like happiness thrown in. Very bipolar, um, but because you have this balance, it, it's this new start. And with this new start, it's, a, it's allowing you to kind of see, you know, um, see on the other side that things are going to progress, right? And, you know, by releasing this person, by walking away from her or him with this queen of wands, um, you're going towards something much, much more balanced, I said, how does Virgo feel about this? And it's the sun. So you're going towards something that's going to make you happy in the long run. I said, how does Virgo feel about this situation? It's the two of pentacles reversed. You made a decision. A decision was made. You're no longer juggling. You're no longer juggling two people. You're no longer juggling two ideas. Do I stay? Do I go? Like there is a decision that's made here. And I feel like you decided to leave, leave something behind 
because it was toxic and you're moving towards something much more stable, okay? Give me a little bit more information on the hopes. Wow, that just shot out. Okay, four of wands with judgment. Maybe you want somebody from your past to return, uh, possible engagement, possible baby, um, but it's, it's, it's a new level of your guys' relationship and one that is definitely, you know, a rebirth, right? It's definitely something that's, um, you know, if it was once, you know, something that wasn't stable, now it's coming to something much, much, much more uh, stable in what's best for both of you. I said, yeah, am I right? And it's the Ten of Cups. That's what you want. You want that level of stability, but you also want things to come, come about because you guys have done the work, because you guys have, you know, made the right choice, especially with this magician card or um, especially with the Hierophant, you know, you guys have done the right things, right? It's like you guys did what was best for everybody. It wasn't just solely yourself. You made good choices. And because you've made good choices, it's like, you're hoping that, you know, universe is going to see it and they're going to bless you, you know, with a very, very happy and healthy relationship. That's definitely what you want. And you want to move out of that whole, you know, three of swords type of situation. Now, your outcome is forgiving and learning. So it could be that you're forgiving your person for whatever they've done, whether they've had, you know, a two-party situation. Maybe they haven't handled themselves in the back in the best way. But this is all about forgiving and learning and um, you know, moving towards something that that is probably, you know, more healthy. And by forgiving, we can allow more love into our life. Okay, but if you want to find out how your partner feels about you, uh, what are their hopes and fears with the relationship, what are they hiding, their next actions, and, uh, you know, ultimately your outcome card, uh, please feel free to uh, click on the link in the description and it will take you right there. All right. Thank you so much, Virgo. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic um rest of March and you guys are amazing and I love you very much. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.